What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video, we're gonna be catching up with my Fungabuck parcels. And now I have actually neglected my Fungabuck parcels for the last few weeks because I was very busy attending two Comic-Cons in the space of a week. We had Liverpool Comic-Con, I wanna say the 21st and 22nd of October, and then MCM Comic-Con London at the end of October. Had an absolutely amazing time, got tons of things signed. There's some links to videos if you guys did wanna check those out. But it meant, as I said, I have neglected my Fungabuck parcels. Now I have them here to my right though, I kind of feel there's not a lot to show off. I don't know why, I thought there was tons more. I did open up that Minato Fungo Shop exclusive mystery box recently, so maybe in my head I thought I had more. I've still got a few bits to come in, but we've still got a decent amount to show off. And I'm not gonna lie, the majority is anime, but I do have two Fungo Pops that are non-anime, and we'll start with, we'll go with this one, why not? The Fungo Shop exclusive Lights and Sounds Indiana Jones figure. And I actually wanted to grab this for quite a while, but I must confess, I never really looked at any of the images, any of the glam shots in great detail. I actually thought this was from Raiders of the Lost Ark when he was grabbing the gold totem, and now I have it here in hand. Uh, certainly when I got it in box, I was like, oh, that's actually not from that movie. This is, of course, from the Temple of Doom when he is picking up the Sankara stones. And it does look pretty cool. The one thing I will say is, though, I think I did say it was lights and sounds. It's actually just lights. At least when I tap his head, um, there's no sound and it doesn't mention anything about sound on the box either which is a little bit disappointing. What is doubly disappointing is I did actually pick this up maybe like two or three weeks ago and then it dropped to 50% in their exclusive sale which finished just this past Monday. So that really really sucks, paid £15 more for it but kind of is what it is, it happens with sales and whatnot. Um, yeah, as I said, it's still a really cool piece though, I do like it. Let me quickly show you guys the light up feature, as I said, I don't think it has sound. See, as I said, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have sounds, here we go, we tap the head, yeah, just lights up. Would have been cool if it had sounds, I mean, it doesn't even last that long, uh, you know, like the snake hissing, I don't know if we could have had the uh, famous music, probably like copyright issues and things there. But uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing. Let me just grab the lights uh, for you guys just to give you the, uh, I guess, lights in the dark experience. I don't even know where he is now. Wait, is he, there he is, I found him. So uh, you know what, it looks fairly cool in the dark actually I have to say, but yeah, it doesn't last long at all. Um, it's cool, but it could have been better. And the other non-anime Funko Pop I picked up, guys, was the Johnny Knoxville figure from the WWE range. And as you will see, it has the official San Diego Comic-Con exclusive sticker. And if you guys are wondering, I picked this up from popfigures.com, who we do have an affiliate link with in the description below. If you make a purchase using that affiliate link, you'll get £10 towards your next order, and so do we. I do believe, though, I actually want to say this as a disclaimer... I think you get £10 off spending £100. I didn't actually realise that until I've had a couple of people use the affiliate link. So I did just want to point that out. Now, I did get this for a pretty good price, although I can't remember what it was now off the top of my head because it was a couple of weeks back. Um, if you guys have been watching for a while, you may have remembered me saying I had a long... Uh, outstanding order with pop figures that they seemingly just forgot about and I ended up getting a refund uh, using their uh, Freddie Franks I believe it is their um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for loyalty program rewards program where they give coins and whatnot I do believe they're called Freddie Franks on pop figures and so I actually managed to get this for free essentially well I say free no because it's technically money I'd already spent but it did include like some rewards coins Freddie Franks whatever as well so uh, I decided to pick this up because I needed it for my WWE collection. I would love for them to make jackass Fungo Pops in the future. Um, I absolutely love that show growing up. Those guys are just absolutely crazy. Very sad with, uh, of course, Ryan Dunn's passing and everything that's going on with Bam Margera. I was such a big fan of Bam Margera, so kind of disappointing to hear everything that happened with him. But yeah, Johnny Knoxville here uh, in the WWE range. Pretty cool. I can't recall, though, if, the, if this is like his appearance from the Royal Rumble or when he fought Sami Zayn at WrestleMania. Not 100% sure because the like image on the back of the box uh, is actually, his outfit is like red uh, as opposed to white. Though maybe he just had the Johnny Knoxville red t-shirt and then that white cape over the top. I, I kind of feel that was the rumble, but I can't really remember off the top of my head either way. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty cool. Um, captures his likeness fairly well, as well as Fungo Pops do, I guess. Um, so yeah, happy to really add it into the collection and especially to get another exclusive con sticker. 
On to all of our anime pops then guys, and first up from My Hero Academia, we have the PX Previews exclusive Glow in the Dark Izuka Midoriya with his Black Whip ability. And this pop looks really, really cool on one of these acrylic bases, which actually does make sense for him because he'd be like flying through the air. It's like an action, like this dynamic action pose, right? He's shooting out the black whip with the black energy. Um, and it obviously has like the, uh, what color is that? Teal? Is that teal? Um, that kind of goes round. Um, yeah, just the pose looks good. I mean, we're at the back here now with the like black whips all going round. The, uh, you guys can kind of see like the mask there at the back um, It is kind of pulled down that's a pretty cool little feature uh, obviously with the acrylic base sticking out if we go back around to the front though he's got the um the, the kind of gloves on there uh I, i'm trying to think though because this I, I believe this was all from the previous season like so not the last season but the previous one um so i'm trying to like remember back like last season was absolutely amazing absolutely epic loved it uh so i'm trying to like remember some of the color schemes and whatnot here but i think it's fairly accurate obviously the like dimple on the cheeks um, yeah just really really cool happy to finally get this and add it into the collection let's check out the glow so here we go then with Deku and boom yeah as I thought it is just the black whip you know what the glow is pretty good I would say this one like sometimes I feel they come out on camera really well other times it's like much better with your own eyes I would say in this instance it's better with your own eyes um, it just looks like very blue on the camera but it's much more teal with my own eyes if that makes sense I kind of wish the hair glowed I know maybe that doesn't quite make sense but we've seen other Funko Pops in the past uh, where the hair does glow and it just would have added a little bit more to it but uh you know what otherwise it is still fairly decent the next up from Naruto guys we have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Glow in the Dark Master Jiraiya with the Rasengan this was actually part of the latest wave of figures if you guys did want to check out the commons there at the back and I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, there's nothing really elaborate or creative about this Funko Pop. It's certainly nowhere near as badass as the Sage Mode Jirai we got earlier in the year, but it is still pretty fitting. He taught Naruto the Rasengan right, so I'm happy to get it. I mean, I love Jiraiya, so I'm happy to get any Jiraiya Funko Pops. Just please don't milk them Funko, because uh, he's now, this is now like the third one we've had, right? But the other two were cool. Like I said, the Sage Mode one was really awesome. That New York Comic Con 2020 release, maybe? I can't entirely remember. With the with the ice pops was also really cool but um you know what look it's not to say this figure still doesn't look cool it's just kind of really basic and it's like yeah they could have made other characters rather than making another dryer but as i said he's a super popular character we've got the hair we've got the scroll at the back he's holding the rasengan i mean it even the rasengan there doesn't look amazing they may be like it it looks a bit weird to me like he's holding a crystal ball uh, more than anything and uh, I imagine that is the only thing that glows the hair doesn't certainly have any of that texture to it but uh you know what let's check it out so here we go then with Master Jiraiya I really can't help saying his name that way anytime I say it with the Rasengan yeah as expected it is just the Rasengan that glows um yeah, again, maybe they could have done something with the hair. When it's a white glow, it looks really, really cool. But um, you know what? It's still not too bad. I mean, I didn't really expect anything else, to be honest. Now we move on to Demon Slayer, and we have the PX Previews exclusive Glow in the Dark Yahaba. Again, part of the recent wave of Demon Slayer figures. There they are, if you guys want to check them out on the back. And now something really funny about this, my brother the other day mentioned that he needed something new to watch, he'd run out of things to watch, and I don't really think he ran out of things to watch, but he was looking for suggestions, and I was like, well, why not try some anime? Uh, you know, he's watched Yu-Gi-Oh! and a few other things in the past, I think he watched Ultraman, and a few things on Netflix, and I said, why not some Demon Slayer? I think you'll enjoy it. So he started watching it the other night, and he seems to be enjoying it to an extent, but the funny thing is, he is literally watching this episode right now in his room, where Yahaba and Susumaru come and attack Tanjiro, Lady Tamiyo, etc., etc., um, in her it's her house, I guess, right? Um, I think the uh, the episode part of me was called the Arrow and Tamari Demon, if I'm not mistaken. Could have been the Tamari and Arrow, Demon. something along those lines. But he's literally watching that episode right now, which I find really, really funny as I open up this Fungo Pop for the first time. I wanted to get the Glow in the Dark one because uh, I do generally always try and go for Glow Pops. Uh, I might go for the common one, the voice actor, the English dub voice actor Xander Mobius. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I really really want him to come over to the UK he's actually got a ton of fungo pops uh, of characters that his voice released this year because he also plays Toto and Inumaki uh, in Jujutsu 
Kaizen, and I'd actually love to get both of those signed. He was also the protagonist Joker in the Persona 5 video game, so I'd also like to get that one signed too. But uh, yeah, this year Hubba Pop, it's pretty basic to be honest. If I do recall, I don't know if I'll be able to find an image of it, but I'm pretty sure he was originally going to have a chase variant where the uh, arrow was essentially coming out and like wrapping around his body or something like that. I could be making it up, maybe it was someone else's concept, but I'm pretty sure he did originally have a chase variant kind of similar to that. Um, so I don't know what happened, obviously concepts like a subject to approve on all of that aren't they? So maybe it didn't get approved. So it's a little bit more basic, but we do have the eye there in the hand, which I feel is pretty cool. I imagine or would hope that that glows. I think his robes do also glow. So let's check that out now. You know what? We actually have quite a few glow fungal bobs today. Here we go then with Yahaba, aka the Arrow Demon and boom. Hey, that actually looks pretty cool. And you can even see the glow uh, like even the eye glows, that's pretty cool. But the glow uh, of his um, robes, whatever they are, that is pretty nice, pretty vibrant. Yeah, I think they've done a pretty good job with that. Let me actually just put the torch there for a second. And let me just bring his hand in a bit closer for you guys. So you can actually see that a little bit better. Boom, there we go. That, uh, they, you know what? That's quite impressive. Oh, that was the torch falling down. Because it's even got some like different colors there in the glow. I think Fungo have done a good job on that one. Next, we've got two Attack on Titan Fungo Bops to check out. First up, we have the Chalice Collectibles exclusive metallic Armin with that pre-release sticker. Again, I will show you guys the back as it was part of the latest wave. And it's a pretty fitting time to check these out because earlier this week, the anime ended after 10 long years. They crashed Crunchyroll, guys, on Sunday evening. Well, Sunday evening for you guys in the US, it was actually Monday morning for us here in the UK. I didn't watch it until Monday afternoon because I didn't really uh, care for all that malarkey and the crashing and whatnot. That would have just annoyed the hell out of me. But uh, yeah, the anime came to an end. You know what? I thought they handled the ending pretty well. The, the final episode probably wasn't as good as the like the previous final episode part whatever it was it's all a bit convoluted when you get into which part was which um but it was still a pretty decent ending i didn't mind it too much because i know the manga was certainly pretty polarizing but uh yeah just let me know in the comment section below what did you guys think of the attack on titan finale if you have watched it or are you waiting for the dub i'm gonna go back and watch it all in dubbed now that i've watched it all in sold but yeah this armin figure pretty cool the metallic version i like i'm not really a like huge fan i suppose of metallics i definitely don't like chrome and things like that but metallics are not too bad and i figured because the um the armor is like somewhat metallic in the show i figured it would be pretty cool to have the metallic version but then they of course kind of make the hair and stuff metallic as well which always seems a little bit weird but uh yeah really happy to get an arm in into the collection part of me just like i got sasha uh, earlier because i don't have the two og versions i would love to get those into the collection one day as well uh but they're a very expensive now, especially that OG Armin that's super, super expensive, especially if you get the one with the FYE exclusive sticker. So, uh, yeah, very happy to get this into the collection. The common version, I don't believe the exclusive, the Chalice, this uh, Chalice, Chalice Collectibles exclusive metallic version, pardon me, uh, had a chase variant, but the common one did where he has like the, um, it's, it's not really like injuries. It's like the, the, I don't know how you would describe it. It's like the bit of gore on his face uh, after he's come out of his tie item form. I do still want to get that into the collection. And the other AOT Fungo Box to check out, guys, is the Fungo Shop exclusive Glow in the Dark, yes, another Glow in the Dark figure, the Warhammer Titan. And this thing does look pretty cool, kneeling down there with the hammer. Originally, I was like, you know, was the handle bent? But when I like went back to look at images and whatnot, the, the hammer is actually bent. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking, oh man, Fungo, they could have done a better job there with the handle or the hammer, but it's actually fairly accurate, to be honest. Um, I mean, there's not really too much going on with it, right? He's kind of like this naked form, which most of the Titans are. But um, the Warhammer Titan certainly has the least um, features, if, if that's a good word to use. He, he then just has these slots over like the eyes and the mouth. Everything else is just really this white 
kind of muscular, almost kind of naked body form, essentially, right? Uh, we actually got to see quite a lot of the Warhammer Titans. I, I probably am giving away spoilers a bit there, so apologies, guys. You saw some of the older uh, Warhammer Titans. Well, actually, are they more like War Titans? Are they really called Warhammer? Because some of them actually had different weapons. You know what? I'm going to shut up just in case you guys haven't actually seen that last episode yet. But this definitely the Warhammer Titan um, from the Season 4 Part 1, I think it was. I'm pretty sure he came in like the fourth or fifth episode one of the highest rated episodes actually um in the entire series but uh yeah does look pretty cool bit basic like i said let's now check out the glow though i'm hoping it's a full-on white glow i actually haven't seen anyone's glam shots or, or i keep saying glam shots i haven't seen glam shots of it by the way but i haven't seen anyone else's images not, not from like disc trackers or anyone like this so i'm going to be seeing it for the first time i really hope the whole figure glows because when they do that with white glows it looks amazing all right, come on, you have to be a full on body glow. Please, please, please. Yes, that is awesome, guys. I mean, in, now, this is an instance, actually, I mentioned earlier, uh, where it actually looks better on camera. It looks very white on camera. It looks a bit more blue uh, with my own eyes, but it is still so, so cool. You definitely have to capture the light everywhere um, because I've noticed that like, there was a big, uh, like if we say here, like, like bits of shadow almost it almost looked like he had a bit of a beard going on and now well you can still see there on the chin but it does go all the way around i mean look at that that kind of looks like a really cool effect now yeah that is pretty sick but uh yeah it's definitely a full on body glow uh always happy when funko does this i don't know why they can't do it uh like do better glows on more and more of their fungo pops and incorporate stuff i do sometimes find it's pretty lazy but yeah this one they've just done such a cool job with yeah really happy with that you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the glow on the warhammer titan but that's not all guys, we've got one final figure to check out. I was lucky enough to get the New York Comic Con exclusive, well at least the shared stickered exclusive Monkey D. Luffy Wanted poster. And just to say right off the bat guys, you'll notice that the sticker isn't on there, it was on the cellophane wrapping. I don't know why they keep changing this, so it was actually not on the wrapping for Goldie Roger, but it is on the wrapping for Luffy, which is so weird. And I tried to pill it off the wrapping and yeah, most of like the stickiness, if that doesn't sound too weird, uh, was left over on the wrapping. So unless I like kind of glue the sticker on, um, it's never gonna go on there, which is really disappointing. Funko need to come to a decision, either keep it on the wrapping or keep it on the inside. Don't keep chopping and changing, that's just annoying. Anywho though, this is really, really cool and I was very, very happy to get it. So it was the only thing I really wanted from the New York Comic Con drops. I was thinking about the Demon Slayer 2 pack. Uh, the Ichigo figure was like pretty basic, uh, but it didn't even release over here yet anyway, which is a bit weird. We still sometimes get some things released and some things don't, and then they release months later. I still think we've got some San Diego Comic Con exclusives that we still haven't really, uh, received, pardon me, or, or yeah, released over here, which, it's just so, so weird. I don't know what happens here in the UK and Europe. Anywho, though, um, yeah, when this did drop, so I thought I'd try something a bit different, try and do something a bit cheeky uh, to try and beat the bots and whatnot, right? Because the, the Goldie Roger sold out in like six minutes, man. That was gone very quickly. So I actually logged in maybe about five minutes before the drop. I added something to my cart. I can't even remember what it was. Um, and then like went to checkout. And now it put me in a queue, which means other people have been doing the same, like have the same thinking, right? But I only was in the queue for one or two minutes and then I got out to the, I got to the checkout phase. Um, then the thing went live and to be fair, it went live pretty quick this time. I feel sometimes it's like a minute late, two minutes late. We've had a disastrous like 10 or 15 minutes late in the past, but it seemed to go pretty quick, added it to cart. Uh, did the checkout and then I got the white screen, the white screen of death as many people call it. And I was like, ah man, is this because I tried to do this cheeky checkout method, whatever. Um, wasn't expecting to get it. I was like, like I, I had no expectations to get it anyway because of like the Goldie Roger drop. Um, I did actually grab that eventually, but I got it aftermarket. So I pretty much paid double retail. Um, but yeah, I, I kept like refreshing and would see what happened. And then like maybe like eight or nine minutes later, it actually 
came up with the checkout information and I checked out and it was all good. It eventually came in and I was like, hey, happy days. But I think a lot of people did get this. I don't think the drop was as bad as Goldie Roger. I don't know if they made more, release more, whatever. But uh, yeah, it is really, really cool. Yes, I do agree with most people that he should have the smiling mouth. It kind of makes the poster. And then when you've got him here with no mouth, I get it that like, Fungo Pops don't really have mouths, but some of them do, and this just would have looked better if he did have it. But it is what it is, a um, creative design decision, obviously, by Funko. Um, I'm sure someone could make a custom one if they really, really wanted to. But yeah, the Wanted poster, the 1.5 billion bounty, um, he still somewhat matches it well enough but yeah it's just if it had the smile it would just look infinitely better but it's still very very cool very very happy to get it uh now to go with the ace and goldie roger most people are expecting shanks next i mean shanks was the one that i heard was rumored before luffy was even a thing before i hadn't heard anything about luffy wanted poster coming and then it was shanks that eventually came i would love to see all the uh, like especially all the straw hats if they don't make all the straw hats i personally find that to be a little bit weird of course they've had different posters at various different points in time do you have god usopp do you have sniper king i think there's a sniper king fungo pop coming out actually isn't it it's um maybe even been announced today i can't entirely remember off the top of my head when it was to be announced i think it's going to be chalice's next exclusive uh so eager to see that and grab that as well but yeah very very cool as i said very happy to get this for retail um i think these wanted posters are such a cool idea and can't wait to see what comes out next and well, there we go, guys. That is me caught up with my Funko Pop parcels, and that is therefore going to do it for today's video. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. Let me know what Funko Pops you guys have picked up recently. And as always, we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys. I mentioned it earlier, I do have some more Funko Pops due in, so we'll check those out as soon as they do come in. I do actually really need to sort out the Geek Lounge display behind me. I want to do it this Thursday, which means I would then release a big collection video on the Friday where you guys see some of the stuff that is buried in deep, see some of the more grail, some of the more uh, like sign pieces to go on the shelves. You guys will see like kind of what's down below there, down below there, kind of the Jurassic Park stuff a bit up there, some of the other TV stuff there, which you don't really always get to see. I just don't know if I will be able to do it on the Thursday. It just depends with um, things going on with our uh, working schedule outside of YouTube, if we can put it that way. But we'll see if it does come or if it does happen, pardon me, that video will come for you on Friday and then of course we have the usual Lego statues figures and TCGs all that fine jazz we love to play on the Geek Lounge coming your way in the weeks and months ahead make sure you stay tuned for all of it and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one peace out nerds